Welcome to the Eduonics Learn to Set Up Websites from Scratch series. In this course you'll learn how to do all the things that are involved in setting up a website. We'll register our domain name, we'll purchase hosting, navigate the control panel, uh, we'll even create some HTML web pages, and we'll install a couple different popular uh, open source platforms like WordPress and Joomla. Uh, we'll not be focusing on programming so if you've never coded a day in your life don't worry about it anyone can do the stuff we'll be doing it's just a matter of learning how so before I go on and describe the chapters in the series uh, I just want to show you that we we're offering a 30 percent off coupon for HostGator services and we'll be using HostGator in this course to register our domain name to purchase shared hosting uh, among other things so the code is eduonix 30 and you want to go to the link that we have right here. Okay, you go to this link, uh, when you make the purchase, just pop in the code and you'll get 30% off. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, let's get to chapter 1. So chapter 1 will be basically just an introduction, um, of course the course introduction, which is what we're doing now. Uh, we'll talk about what a website is, what components go into a website, so the domain name, hosting, things like that. Uh, we'll talk about the different types of websites, from static HTML to dynamic websites like uh, WordPress and Joomla. Uh, and then we'll talk about HostGator web services and, and what's offered there, as far as domain names and hosting. So chapter two will be all about domain names. We'll uh, have kind of a uh, domain name history, um, what it is, we'll talk about the naming rules and conventions, what's allowed in a domain name and what's not, uh, how to register a domain name, alright, so we'll actually go through and register a domain with HostGator, uh, I'll talk about how to transfer a domain name from one registrar to another, and we'll also talk about top level domains like .com, .net, .org, uh, and what you should choose and why. So chapter three will be all about web hosting, which of course is needed to have a website. Um, basically we'll talk about the the basics of web hosting. Um, we'll go through and purchase a hosting account through HostGator and then we'll log into the cPanel. I'll briefly go over the interface, show you what you can and can't do in cPanel. Uh, we'll set up a couple email accounts and um, as well as email forwarders and we'll set up an FTP account and connect to that account with FileZilla so we can log in and see all the files um, the structure and so forth of our websites. Chapter 4 will be all about HTML and if you don't know HTML that's fine um, it's easy enough to learn just the basic tags and syntax so we'll go over that uh, we'll build a, a bare bones web page which will basically just have the the needed structure to uh, create an HTML5 document. And we'll also upload it and we'll um, navigate to it in the browser. Uh, we'll add content and new pages. So we're basically just going to create, create a quick site uh, that will have an about a home page, an about us page, uh, and a services page. So nothing nothing too fancy. Um, we'll create a contact form in HTML. Uh, the contact form won't work because it needs server-side programming to be able to actually send the email. Um, but we will go over how to create the form and also how to include inline images in our web pages. And finally, we'll talk about CSS and styling so we can uh, change the, the uh, view of the website and how it looks. And then finally we'll look into dynamic websites, um, platforms like WordPress, which is a blogging system, Joomla, which is a content management system, and Magento, which is uh, an e-commerce platform or, or a shopping cart. And we're going to be installing all of these with Quick Install, which comes with uh, cPanel uh, and HostGator. And we'll also, I'll also show you how to create MySQL databases and we're going to create a couple subdomains. We're going to install the WordPress, Joomla, and Magento all on their own subdomain. So that's a quick summary of what we'll be doing. 
Uh, if you've never done anything like this before, uh, uh, again, it's 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 not that hard. Um, anyone that sits down and pays attention through the course will be able to set up a website. Um, obviously, you won't be a, a brilliant programmer, but you'll be able to set up a basic website.